welcome to the Parrot Center at Loyalist College. Discover your library at loyalistlibrary.com. This video is one in a series that explores searching and research skills. Today, we'll introduce you to the different kinds of resources available in the library. We'll learn what they are, what kind of information they have, and how you can find them. Not all library materials are the same. Different kinds of resources are better suited to finding different kinds of information and to accomplishing different tasks. Let's take a closer look at some examples. Dictionaries help us to understand key terms. Most people are familiar with defining dictionaries, the ones that give us definition of words, like the Oxford English Dictionary. There are also bilingual or translation dictionaries, which are used to translate words or phrases from one language to another. Finally, there are specialized or technical dictionaries. These focus on one topic or field of study, and they're useful for terms that are unique to a certain subject area. The library has a number of these, like Black's Law Dictionary, the APA Dictionary of Psychology, and more. You can search for and access print and electronic dictionaries by visiting loyalistlibrary.com. To find dictionaries, look at the research guide for your course, search by title or keyword in Catalyst, or click on the Research tab and choose Research Tools. You'll see a tab for Dictionaries, which gives you a list of just a few of the electronic dictionaries available through the library. Encyclopedias provide short overviews or summaries of a subject. They can cover a broad range of subjects or focus on one particular discipline. Encyclopedias are divided into articles or entries that are arranged alphabetically by name or sometimes by theme. These entries are longer and more detailed than an entry in a dictionary. Most people are familiar with general encyclopedias, like the Encyclopedia Britannica. There are also subject-specific encyclopedias, like the Gale Encyclopedia of Public Health. You can search for and access print and electronic encyclopedias by visiting loyalistlibrary.com. To find encyclopedias, look at the research guide for your course, search by title or keyword in Catalyst, or click on the Research tab and choose Research Tools. You'll see a tab for encyclopedias which links you to a list of just a few of the electronic encyclopedias held by the library. You can also click on the Collections tab and choose Encyclopedias. Newspapers and popular magazines are ideal for information on current events or for brief non-scholarly articles. These articles are written by journalists and authors who might or might not be experts in the subject of the article. These articles are written for a general audience. They're free of technical jargon and are easy to understand. They don't typically follow a specific structure. They don't include foot or endnotes, they don't cite their sources using a bibliography or works cited page, and they are not peer-reviewed. Newspapers are pretty easy to recognize. They're printed on large folded sheets of newsprint, usually in black and white. You can tell the difference between scholarly journals and popular magazines by their appearance. Popular magazines are usually glossy, with color photos and covers, and lots of advertising. You can search for and access print and electronic newspapers and popular magazines by visiting loyalistlibrary.com. You can find physical copies of newspapers in the library, including the Belleville Intelligencer, the Toronto Star, the Globe and Mail, and the Community Press. There are also many popular magazines on the shelves at the back of the library, like Time, Maclean's, National Geographic, and others. For newspaper articles, use Catalyst to search by keyword. On the results page, use the format filter on the left side to limit to newspaper articles. You can also click on the Collections tab and choose Local, National, and International News Sources. Alternately, you can click on the e-resources button and choose news and newspapers from the format dropdown. For popular magazines, use Catalyst to search by keyword. From the results screen, you can use the filters on the left-hand side to limit your search to articles and to exclude content from peer-reviewed journals. Finally, you can choose the journal locator button and search by title or keyword. A trade journal, which is sometimes called a trade magazine, is a journal that targets a specific industry or trade. The articles in a trade journal focus on news, trends, and other topics of interest in that industry. Any ads are also targeted at people in the profession. It's important to remember that while articles from trade journals are often considered scholarly and the articles are written by experts in the field, they are not typically peer-reviewed. Some examples of trade journals available in the Parrot Center are Advertising Age, Chemical Week, and Education Week. You can search for and access print and electronic trade journals by visiting loyalistlibrary.com. You can find physical copies of selected trade journals on the shelves at the back of the library. To find electronic copies of articles from trade journals, use Catalyst to search by keyword or title. On the results page, you can use the format filter on the left side to limit your results to articles. 
You can also use the journal locator to look for a specific trade journal by title or by keyword. If you're not sure what the key trade journals are for your field, ask your instructor or check in with the library. Academic journals, sometimes called peer-reviewed or scholarly journals, are ideal for finding in-depth current research in a specific area. If you've had a chance to watch our video on peer review, you'll know that these articles go through a review process before they're published, which ensures that the research is of high quality. These articles are written by experts in the subject of the article. They're longer, written in an academic style, use professional terminology and language, and the topic of the article is narrowly focused and explored in depth. They're heavy on text and light on illustration, but might contain charts, graphs, and other statistical data. The content of the article is typically based on either original research or authorities in the field instead of personal opinion. Sources are well cited in a particular format like APA, and there are both in-text citations and either foot or endnotes, as well as a bibliography or works cited page. Often, journals will include a volume and issue number, such as Volume 6, Issue 4. Journal covers are usually plain, with an emphasis on the key research articles in a particular issue. You can search for and access print and electronic academic journals by visiting loyalistlibrary.com. You can find physical copies of selected peer-reviewed journals on the shelves at the back of the library. But the biggest collection of academic articles can be found in the library's electronic databases. To find electronic articles from peer-reviewed journals, use Catalyst to search by keyword or title. On the results screen, you can use the filters on the left side to limit your search to content from peer-reviewed journals and to articles. You can also click on the eResources button and limit by subject using the drop-down menu to choose a database that focuses on the subject that you're researching. Remember to read the description of the database to make sure that it has peer-reviewed content. Finally, you can choose the Journal Locator button and search by title or keyword. You'll see a note telling you which journals are peer-reviewed. Books are useful whether you're looking for a background or an overview of a subject area or in-depth information on a topic. We get lots of questions about the differences between books and ebooks and which one is better. It's important to remember that the only difference between books and ebooks is access and format. Print books are physical items, and ebooks are digital files that can be accessed from a variety of devices. The content and quality is exactly the same. You can search for and access both print and ebooks by visiting loyalistlibrary.com. The best way to find books or ebooks in the library's collection is to search by title or keyword using Catalyst. From the results page, you can use the format filter on the left side of the screen to limit your search to books. Both print books and ebooks will be included. Statistics are very helpful if you need quantitative or measurable data. For example, in Canada, the government conducts a census every five years to gather all kinds of information about the country and the people living here, such as the number of people in each community, what languages they speak, how old they are, and more. Statistics can be used to give us a very broad picture, such as how many people live in Canada, or a much more focused picture, such as how many people in Toronto were born outside of Canada and what language they speak. You can search for and access print and electronic statistics by visiting loyalistlibrary.com. The library holds a small number of physical statistical reports, but the best way to find statistics in the library's collection is to click on the eResources button and limit by format to statistics. Alternately, try an external website like Statistics Canada, sometimes called StatsCan, or a specialized site like the Canadian Institute for Health Information. Sometimes it can be very helpful to have a visual explanation of an idea, and for that we turn to films. The library has a small collection of DVDs, and we also subscribe to multiple streaming video services which give you access to more than 23,000 videos and video clips. You can search for and access DVDs and streaming videos by visiting loyalistlibrary.com. To locate a DVD, search by keyword or title using Catalyst. To access streaming content, search with Catalyst or click on the streaming video button. This opens a list of all of the streaming services that the library subscribes to. There's a description for each service and collection so you can pick the one that's right for you. And that's it! Now you know what kinds of resources the library has and how to choose the right one to find the information you need. This video is one in a series on searching and research skills. The other videos in the series will introduce you to the library's website, teach you how to create your search strategy, introduce you to using Catalyst to look for information, and more. We've also created a handout that you can use to guide you through the different types of library resources. If you have questions or need extra help, get in touch with us using the contact information below.